And you don't, you don't really. If I don't, she will. Because I took a photograph of that Lancaster bomber to send to Leslie. And when I come oh, to yeah. get the when I come to get the prints done, I was going through uh, page. <laughs> Same with those digital, it can hold a lot of pictures, can't yeah. it? Yeah. I went back to two years of the, of some uh, air display out at Cosby, uh -huh. where the Vulcan bomber came over. I got all that lot, and all just going on and on and on. In fact, some I was looking at thinking, I don't know what their fees are. This is my camera. You can, you can um, work it with your phone. So you can put it up like that and take... You can put it out of the car and film yourself while you're driving along and... And does it pivot to do a selfie? Yep, it does. You can, so you can do that. Do that like that. <laughs> selfie. Yeah. Because one of the local stores was advertising, they were selling selfie arms. Selfie thought, sticks, yeah. Oh, oh, no, no. Do you want me to delete all the photos on the camera? Sorry, I'm a little deaf. Sorry. Do you want me to delete all the photos off the camera? Delete all. Like every single one? Oh, yes. Everything. There's nothing in there, yeah. Like this one can go underwater. You can put it on a hat. So when you push bike, you can put it on a hat. I've got a, a strap here for it. And I went on a, I went, I went on a roller coaster with Greg the other day, and I had my strap on. There's going to be a great movie of the roller coaster. I was just about to go, and the man said, no filming allowed on here. So I had to take it off. Yeah. I think they're li liable. If you, you could, I don't know, if it went wrong, you could um, put yeah, or put pu bad publicity for them, you know, or something like that. Have you got all gone? Yeah. Okay. Hang on a bit. I'm taking the battery out. I don't I'm keep it with batteries in. Okay. So once every blue moon, I take a photo. Hmm. Old places. Yes. Mm. Look, we went to Bradgate Park and we went to um, past Humberston School and the park there. And we drove past Cardinal's Walk. Yeah, where else did we go? I can't think. You went Foxton Locks. Oh, Foxton Locks, yeah, with Nigel. Is that again? Swindland. Oh, yes, Swindland Woods, yeah. Park. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> lots of things have stayed the same and lots of things have gone. Oh, yeah. Yes. Just drove through the village. Well, lots of things have changed there. I haven't drove through for a long time. Books are closing, aren't they? Mm. The manor's gone, isn't it? What they're doing with the manor? Just looks like a building site, derelict, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah. And the White Horse is an Italian restaurant, is it? Oh, blimey. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's gone as well. <clears throat> have they done anything with the incline at Foxton at all? Yeah, they've just spent millions, haven't they? Mm, it all looks very new and they've got lots of um, volunteers up there um, helping all the boats through and it was a bit yeah. of a bustling, um, you know... A, um, yeah, they've made it into quite a big tourist attraction. Yeah, there. I think there's three cafes up there. Oh, that side of it was going well, but it was just what they were doing with the incline. They were yeah, going to do this with it, they were going to do that with it. Or whether they're going to just open a museum, an incline museum. No, well, yeah, they've actually renovated the whole thing. Hmm. So it's working. Yeah, it's quite popular. Oh, it's quite it's popular, is it? The Foxton Lock. Yeah. Because it's a decent sized car park now. Yeah. Off the road then, and it was quite an interesting walk through. I preferred the um, to walk another mile and go to Gumley and have the place mm. to yourself, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than queue up with everybody else. Well, it's not raining, lads. 
Yes, yeah, it's still a bit, yes. I noticed you'd forgot, decided to get rid of your pyjama jacket in the night. <laughs> you decided it was cool enough to wear a pyjama jacket last night. And when I got up this one, there was the pyjama yeah. jacket on the bed. You thought, no, it's too damn close. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was though, wasn't it? It was quite cold. It's very hot, hot yeah. Mm. Yeah, we had to shut the window because it was going cold. I woke up hot in the night. Mm. Uh, everyone does, though. Last week we were in Texas. It was 35, 36 degrees, mm. and it's all air conditioned. When you when you open the door to outside, it's like somebody's turned the heater on, you know. Mm. Yeah. That's hot. Yeah. And we went paddling in the sea there, and it looks like the English Channel. It's brown and muddy, but it's so, it's warm like a bath, and mm. it's full of fish, big fish. They're jumping out of the water, running into you. Good yeah. yeah, it's quite an experience. The nearest I've got to that is slapping my feet in the water at Brid and getting those little sand eels arriving. Ah, yeah, the elbets. Yeah. <laughs> coming under your feet. Yeah. Remember, they say there's an absence of them now, that's why we're losing all the seabirds. Yeah. There's nothing like the sand eels. Mm. Have you been doing anything in the garden? I do what gardening I can, but I, I've forsaken the greenhouse for tomatoes and cucumbers. I've given them a miss. Okay. Because I used to think, good Lord, I can go to the shop and by the time you paid for the fertiliser and the soil to grow them in and the plants, think, no, with just the two of us, I couldn't, yeah. just, we could buy the tomatoes. Mm. Mm. So you can't eat that many, can you? You can only no. see some. I mean, I, 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 if I, of the tomatoes I grew, I ate more of them in the greenhouse. Picking them and eating them myself while I was there. <laughs> and two years ago, I grew cucumbers and I had a real good crop. But I can't, I thought, well, I can't eat up. I was feeding next door but one up and across the way there, they were getting cucumbers regularly. <laughs> and we were. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, and you are. We can only eat so much cucumber. Mm. Yeah. In fact, I remember saying to them, there were, there were this, this family on the Coppersick Corner saying how they're cucumber balmy. And I thought, well, are you doing something with it that I'm not doing with it? Are you doing making a pudding out of it? So I said to him one day when I took one across, I said, excuse me asking, but how do you prepare or eat 